So uh, that's that situation. Um, let's talk about something good. Let's talk about Sidney Crosby. Gentlemen. <laughs> well, okay. Well, let's let's be careful with the word good. Sorry, Detroit. Uh, Sidney Crosby and the Pittsburgh Penguins beat Detroit in overtime 6-5 yesterday with, in a just unbelievable classic game. Eric Carlson just pimped that freaking slap shot. It's Holy crazy. shit. It was crazy. Yeah. Uh, now we've got one point separating these teams for the final wild card spot. Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. 86. Washington, 85. Detroit, 85. Philadelphia, 85. But they've played a, a game more than, than Detroit, Washington, or Pittsburgh. There's still a world where a team gets into the playoffs with fewer than 90 points. Yeah. Yeah. Man. And the Washington Capitals lost to the Buffalo Sabres last night. Oh, that's killer. That's, and there, there was like a whole line brawl, too. Did you see Tage Thompson? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah. There was like a whole thing. It was a big, big fight. So it was great. I hate when shit happens on uh, nights where the Leafs play. Because I, I go straight from the game to the LFR and I missed them. Oh, yeah. It was great. It was great. But Detroit-Pittsburgh was, uh, was a classic, unbelievable game. And, and obviously, I want to talk about the Sidney Crosby thing here. Just let me pull it up. Make sure I get it right. This is the trick play. Uh, after he he hit a uh, sorry, uh, this is Sarah Volley. One day after hitting a thousand assists and grabbing sole possession of tenth on the all time list, um, uh, adjusted hockey uh, went through career step by step, and they're talking about him being like you know Mount Rushmore great, mm -hmm. like probably up there in, in according to adjusted hockey anyway, the best. Four players of all time are as follows. Is this era adjusted? Era adjusted. Here, Jesse, can you bring up the article? No, just, <laughs> era adjusted. Gretzky, Lemieux, Crosby, Yager. Holy, holy shit. Yager at 1900 points. Yeah. And so the, the other guys on the outside looking in, if you look at era adjusted, and again, there's a whole bunch of minutia that they get into, but how Ovechkin, Esposito, and McDavid are there. You're, you're adjusted what? Uh, okay, so here's what... I'm going to pull it up here. Um, it's tricky to understand. It is really tricky to understand. And so, it. listen, remember, this is just one person's opinion. There's a gigantic article on it on Daily Face Off. You want to check it out. Um, but uh, Paul uh, Beduti, Adjusted Hockey on Twitter for Daily Face Off. The article is called, After Two Decades of Dominance, Where Does Sidney Crosby Rank Among the NHL's Greatest Players? And the, the Adjusted Hockey said that. And I just thought... I thought it was an interesting. I don't want to get into like the minutia of how they. You don't want came to just read it. the whole article. It's yeah, on Daily Face Off. But my my thinking was, can can our heads wrap around Crosby being the second best player of all time? Uh, yes, mine mine can. Um, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. But it's 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 part of the conversation that we had on. I think it was last show Wednesday it's, you know, there are lots of guys who have won more cups than Sidney Crosby. Crosby has three. And he could get four. Never know. Mm -hmm. um, but right now he has three. It matters that he has three cups in a league entirely made up of 30 teams or more. It matters. Um, you know, that doesn't diminish anything any of those Habs legends did. Leafs legends, Gordy Howe, like it, it doesn't diminish any of that, but it should amplify what Crosby did. The record for most cups with one team since we hit 30 is three. And he's part of that group that's tied, right? It's like Crosby, Malkin, Latang, Taves, Kane, Keith Seabrook. It's a really select group. It's a really select group of guys. So in terms of uh, a generation, literally a generation, we throw that word out too flippantly, literally a generation. In terms of winning championships, he's the greatest. He has 12 individual trophies. He's going to end up actual top, I think, at least seven. Um, he's already top 10, could finish his highest top five. You could absolutely argue he's the second best player ever. Now, you got to look at, I, I think Yager gets lost because of who he played with for so long. That dude won scoring title after scoring title after scoring title. There was, there was a ridiculous stat 
um, it was something from like 1979 through like 1996 or something like that. The scoring title was only won by three different guys. <laughs> it was Gretzky, Lemieux, or Yager. It's it's stupid. Um, you know, so you shouldn't diminish Yager, but we're we're finally at a place where we have enough information where the hype for Sidney Crosby as a kid wasn't overdone in the slightest. This is one of the greatest players of all time. This summer, I asked a number of like high up people in hockey. Uh, who their Mount Rushmore was. And I, I couldn't believe how many people had Crosby on it. I couldn't believe. And I had to look into it and I'm like, holy shit, they're right. Jesse, are you are you ready to wrap your head around Crosby on the Mount Rushmore top four? Yeah, I don't think it's it's a difficult thing to to grasp that Crosby is good. Yeah, agreed, <laughs> agreed. No, when we're not consider, talking good. When you consider we're not talking good. When you consider greatest of all time, obviously Gretzky, obviously Lemieux. Radic Dvorak was good. Bobby Orr. <laughs> like, yeah. Gordy Howe. Gordy Howe. Mm, um yeah. uh Babe Die. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Babe Die. What are your thoughts? Do you feel like are we there? Yeah, oh yeah. Like I think we've we've been there for and the, the thing about Crosby, what he's pushing right now is the longevity factor about how long can you sustain this. And I think that's what that's the next level of greatness because he has his peak. His peak is the highest, is gonna be up there with everybody. You know, he's gonna be up there with everybody. And now that he's doing it into his later years, we're getting to the territory of what we see across other sports where it's like, okay, LeBron's been doing this for twenty two years. This it's is insane. A little absurd that he's He's still top 10 in the league at his age. Tom Brady has been winning. He won his seventh championship and he's, he's 39. He's 42. And he's still, what? How does this keep going? And Crosby, we're reaching the point where we're like, holy shit, Crosby's 38. Crosby's going to be 40. And he's still one of the best players in the league. And he's in a heart trophy conversation. That's the next level when you start beating age. And he's he's there right now, and we're looking at it and we're like, how are you doing this? And you're beating Father Time, which is supposed to be undefeated. So I think easily, uh, if he's not your top five of greatest NHL players of all time, he should be there right now. And then now it's about climbing where he's going to be in that Mount Rushmore. Now, I, I want to throw this out there to, to something that you said. Um, he's going to end up being top five in scoring. A lot of Penguins fans pointed out we never truly saw his peak. Yeah, because his best season ever, he got a concussion. If you go and look at whatever his... Uh, can, can you go and look? I think it was 11-12. Yeah. You'll know. Like He didn't play very many games. He didn't even have that many goals, if I remember correct. But he was good for three points a night. Like It was insane. Yeah, 11-12 was the 22-game uh, played eight goals, 29 assists season. And then 12-13 was 36 games played, 15 goals, 41 assists, 56 points in 36 games. And and that might sound like, oh, what? McDavid and Kucherov and McKinnon all do that. Dude, no one was no. doing this. No one was doing this in 2011 or 2012. No one was close. And it was cut off for like a year. Mm -hmm. It was like a year. And then he came back and then he left. In his comeback game, by the way, he put up four points. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> he I was off for forever. He put up four points. It's a very good argument that the peak of Sidney Crosby's career was 2011 through 2013, where he barely played over half a season. How about this <laughs> this stat? Um, he's so he's gonna end up top five. I keep saying he's gonna end up. He's gonna end up. He's already a top five all time NHL playoff scorer. He has over 200 playoff points, mm -hmm. 200 playoff points. What's the, what's the list of top playoff points of all time? Good question. I actually, I looked it up. The top goal scorers since Crosby and Ovechkin's rookie year in the NHL, Crosby and Ovechkin are two and three. Uh, number one is Joe Pavelski. <laughs> that dude is one of the most underrated people in the world. Playoff points Here all time. Is. Gretzky, 382. Messier, 295. No one else had. Gretzky had almost 400. No one else had over three. Yari Curry, 233. Glenn Anderson, 214. Yager, 201. Crosby, 201. So he's tied for fifth place. He's going to pass Yager this season uh, if they sneak it in to the playoffs there. Penguins went and around. And possibly also pass Glenn Anderson. Yeah. yeah. Penguins went around this year or like even lose in seven. Mm -hmm. He might 
get up to fourth. Yeah, if he's two points a game. He's an alien. Yep. He's so I'm looking at I'm looking at this list. Like, so if you were to combine regular season and playoff, uh Curry is not ahead of him in regular season scoring. Wow. Anderson is not ahead of him in playoff scoring. It's only Gretzky, Messier, and Yager. So just off the top of my head, he's already a top five all time scorer. Well, Eisenman, no, Eisenman's still ahead of him, but he's going to end up passing Eisenman. Mm -hmm. And this is something I remember I wrote about with Sportsnet. This was a different article. Um, In like 2016, I was like, hey, guys, like he might pass frigging Eisenman. Eisenman's sixth, I think. Mm -hmm. Lemieux's seventh, he's sixth. It's, I could do a segment on this every show for 10 minutes. Just the greatness of Sidney Crosby. Actually. Well, I think I think first take does LeBron uh, LeBron greatness every show. <laughs> Great, I'll do Sid. Great, I'll do Sid. Um, I uh, I want knows jujitsu. We learned that last night with Ben Chirac. 